Okay guys, quick tip today. No live opening, no special effects, just right into the content because today we're talking weldments. The weldments feature in SolidWorks is the most mind-blowingly simple way to get a crazy amount of design work done in a very short amount of time, especially if you work in the industrial machinery or structural design industries. The most common question I get about SolidWorks weldments regards creating custom weldment profiles. So that's what we're going to do today. Nine times out of ten, you're not starting from scratch with a new weldment profile. You're just adding a new size option to an existing set. So we're not going to reinvent the wheel here and instead simply save a copy of an existing weldment profile we want to modify. Best practice here is to save your custom profiles, or really any custom template, in a separate folder outside the default SolidWorks installation. This makes creating backups of your custom data easier. Once a copy is saved, we can modify the profile to meet our specs. In this case, I'm making the T-flange wider, longer, and adding another insertion point. Once finished, save and close the file. Here's the part that trips up most people. The folder structure used to store the profile is also used to identify it within SolidWorks. So you need to recreate the structure you see in the stock installation. For our example, we're going to use custom as the new standard and t-channel as the new profile type. The last thing we need to do is add our new profile location to the weldment profile locations under our system options. And we're ready to roll. Guys, I hope you found that tech tip useful. If you have questions about this or any of the other time-saving features included in SolidWorks, please reach out to your local MLC CAD systems representative. And as always, Thanks for watching.